In this video, we will show you how to use host Wi-Fi on the guest OS on Hyper-V. As you can see here, we have the Wi-Fi in our Windows OS. And if we open the Hyper-V as guest, how we can use this Wi-Fi to create a connection? Okay, first in here, let's see our Wi-Fi details. On the adapter settings, you can see this is our specifications of the adapter. Okay, we need to use this, and after I use this in the guest OS on the Hyper-V, we will show you the evidence how it's real. We can connect using this adapter or not by mirroring our smartphone into the guest OS. If we successfully connected using this Wi-Fi details of course we can connect our mirroring application using our smartphone let me show you in here we need to check first also our IP address this segment okay before we start to open our hyper-v you can see the IP segment is this and we need to minimize them again and in here, we need to open Hyper-V Manager and select your virtual machines. Okay, the first thing you must create the virtual suite manager that point into your host Wi-Fi. The only option you need to choose is using external because internal and private cannot connect it using your host Wi-Fi. After you select external here, just click create virtual switch. Give the name of your switch, whatever you want. I give the name WDNet in here. And this is the most important thing. You can see in this list, you can see the Realtek Gaming is my Ethernet using LAN. And the Intel R wireless is my Wi-Fi adapter. So, we need to choose our Wi-Fi adapter. Okay, if you see again on your host control panel on the adapter, you can see this is my Wi-Fi on the host. It is the same details. Don't forget to tick allow management operating system to share this network adapter. After that, you can click apply and click. Just waiting until the applying is done and click OK. And the most important thing again, you need to select Hyper-V settings in here and select Enhance Succession Mode Policy. Allow this by ticking this. Also for the user, tick this to use Enhance Session Mode and click OK. After that, this is the most important step and you must doing this. Click settings on your virtual machines. Okay, after you click settings, you see there is network adapter. Usually, the default is using default switch. In here, you need to select that you created before. Okay, the virtual switch that point into your host adapter here. So, you need to select this and click apply. And then click OK. And this is the last step. You can just connect into your virtual machine to start. Okay, we will show you the evidence. We can mirroring our real smartphone into the case. And the number second, we need to see the IP segment of our host and our guest in the Hyper-V. Okay, I will view in here using 75 you can see if i click again on our host control panel now there is two more device in here creating by hyper-v okay in here let's see the evidence and first we can using command prompt before we trying to connect our android and see ip config Okay, this is the segment 18.18 .18, and 
in the host let's check Okay, you can see the different okay this is one segment okay this is IP address using C class okay 18.18 .18 in our host 18.8 .8. but this is the same segment and use this adapter and this is the most important we already install to show you the evidence application called a power mirror and this is can connect using Wi-Fi into our smartphone so we try to running this application on our virtual machine using hyperfish here just type a power mirror and click open and I will open a power mirror also in my smartphone and try to connect this I'm using Wi-Fi also you can see my a power mirror application not in the host but on the guest OS actually if we can connect using our Wi-Fi device and successfully mirroring so in here we already successfully connected using this adapter using our host Wi-Fi address okay I will open first you can see here I'm successfully connected my phone okay using the configuration so i successfully connected my wi-fi address on the virtual machine on the hyper -V. as you can see them you can see here we successfully connected using wi-fi connection to mirroring our smartphone using our host wi-fi because if we not connected using this wi-fi okay we cannot mirroring here it's just using an AT we cannot connect using this method and that's all tutorial how to connect it, our Wi-Fi address on the host using Hyper-V virtual machine hope this video helpful for you